Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca and this um, is my kind of glam, maybe works to night out um, kind of like look. It's really gold and pink and like rose gold theme. It's got a real like romantic feeling to it. Um, so if you love like pink eyeshadow and love gold, then you should definitely definitely keep watching um because i'll be showing you exactly how to recreate this full look except for the eyebrows um so if you want to see more um makeup videos all you've got to do is give that subscribe button a little push and if you could give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment as to maybe when your christmas do is and kind of what like look you're going to be doing for that but if you'd like to see how i've recreated this look then just keep on watching i've zoomed you on in so you can see exactly what i'm going to do on the eyes um so i'm going to start off with the p louise eyeshadow base and i've got the shade rumor one so i'm going to just put that all over the look and then i'm just going to use a beauty blender just to blend that in So now that we've got our base on, I'm gonna um, begin with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And the shade I'm gonna use is this shade here, these two here, I'm gonna mix together and that's gonna go at my crease. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this and I'm gonna just dip into those. So that is raw sienna and um, burnt orange. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of work. I'm just gonna pack that on first. So that is the crease colour on. I'm then gonna take a little mixture of these two here. And I'm just gonna take that on like a big dome brush. And those are gonna kind of go in the crease. So I've kind of got it to the the opacity, the opacity that I wanted. So I'm just gonna make sure that the edges are nice and blended out. So yeah, so that is the darker shade now on. I'm gonna just take a little bit of, I know this is really annoying, but we're gonna take a little bit of Love Letter, which is this kind of like neon pink up here. Just take a little bit of that. That love letter and I'm just gonna pop that in there like just around the edges just because I really liked how it looked I wasn't gonna do this at first I wasn't gonna make it too pink and I was like oh I just can't get away from pink I love the shade it just looks so good on anyone with like brown eyes or even I think like it looks good on green eyes but you know maybe not I'm take a little bit of this shade here which is just going to go on my brow bone and I'm just going to take a really diddy little dash like this. I'm just going to run that into that highlight because I don't want it to look like highlight but how pretty is that? It just kind of brings, lifts everything back up again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack on, we're using that kind of like dome brush we used at the start, a little bit of well, this shade here. So this is the shade Cypress Umber. Cypress Umber. So that's gonna go on the outer corner. So don't worry about it looking messy underneath the eye at the moment. It's because we're gonna fix that up with um, makeup, foundation, and base all that. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the Stila um, what is this called? The Stila Magnificent Metals um, Glitter Glow. Glitter and Glow. And the shade I have is Rose Gold Retro. So that's going to go on the lid. So that's the Glitter Glow on now. And then I'm going to take the um, NYX... Um, NYX Love You So Mochi, Mochi, I don't know. And I'm just gonna take this shade right at the top here. 
gonna take that on a flat one. While that's still a little bit tacky, I'm just gonna press it on there. And then what I'm gonna do is just because I did this before, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Mario Brodowski, Brodowski, um spray, and this is just like a, this will just make it a little bit wet on my brush. I like the smell lavender. So that's the glitter on and then we're going to go back in with that pencil brush that we used with the dark brown and I'm just going to kind of bring the brown in to marry the, the glitter. Okay, so now that we've got the, the shimmer and the dark brown on the other side, I'm going to just take a, um, a black eyeliner. This one is from Topshop from their, like, their old packaging. And I'm just going to run that across my lashes. Oh. Oh. I'm going to take a really dense um, kind of shader brush and I'm just going to smudge that out quite quickly. You want to be quite quick when you're doing this. So you're going to have this kind of like darker smoky part at the end like this. It's like um, you don't have to put liner on then it just makes it a lot easier if you just want something quick. Um, and then I'm going to take the black from that NYX palette and I'm just going to press it on top and that'll kind of give it a little bit more of a sheen as well. I quite like it. So you're creating that like easy liner. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the the I'm just going to take the Urban Decay Perversion liner, and this is just a liquid liner. I'm going to run that. over slightly just the front because where I'm going to put lashes on, I don't want to have I don't want to have like a um, any kind of gap. So I'm just going to take that dense shader brush again and I'm just going to pop over the black again. So yeah, so that is the um, eye makeup pretty much done. What we're going to do now is we're just going to pop some false lashes. I'm going to put some mascara on and I will be back now. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I'm now just going to go on to skin. So I've got you all close and personal. Realised that while I was doing my eye makeup that my hair looked fucking crazy. Or crazy. Crazy. Right, so what I'm going to do is my skin is already moisturised. I use the Vitamin E Body Shop um, face cream because I'm really dry at the moment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, my primer now. So I'm going to go in with the Yves Saint Laurent, um, I think this is like the, yeah so this is the Touche Clark Bleu Primer. Um, so I'm going to mix a little bit of that onto the back of my hand. Just a little bit like that and I'm going to mix a little bit of the Becca Backlight um, Priming filter. <laughs> so this is the Becca Backlight Filming pri uh, Primer and I'm going to mix that with the Yves Saint Laurent, so just like that. I love doing this kind of thing, like mixing my primers, um, just because I, I quite like it. So I'm just going to pop that over the skin. So that's my skin and that primer literally leaves my skin looking so, so smooth and so like soft. So when I put like foundation and concealer on, it's just gonna go, you know? Okay, so that's that done. What I'm gonna do for foundation is I'm gonna do a little concoction. I've got like two of my favorite foundations at the moment. So that is the um, Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. This is a very full coverage foundation, which I really like. Um, so it comes like this in this beautiful glass bottle. So that can go, goodbye. Um, so yeah, so that's it. 
I had a sample first just to kind of try it out to see whether I liked the foundation um because I loved my double wear but I just needed to change you know you just need a change you need to try something a little bit new so um yeah I'm gonna go in with ultimate coverage and the shade I have is olive which is like my perfect tan shade on my damp beauty blender and um yeah I'm gonna just put that on the skin so I have been mixing with something, but I really just want to try it on its own today, just to see kind of like what it's like on its own. And I'm doing in sections rather than um, like in one spot, because I know this is quite like a, it's like a matte foundation, I'm pretty sure. This is kind of like a face impression, essentially. Look how like orange that look, but I like it. Like the scent is quite unusual, but I don't mind it. I'm not really like someone that's bothered by scent, you know, but I like it with, um, I really do like it with a, a beauty blender. I don't know why, I just feel like it doesn't make it so like, you know, full coverage, uncovered in foundation, do you know what I mean? So yeah, so I'm just gonna carry on and just do the, the other side. I'm gonna just get another pump. I feel like a pump is just kind of what I need. That's all I need. Another good thing about this, there's no SPF in this. So when you have pictures, um, there's not gonna be any flashback and it's 24 hours. So this is gonna stay on really, really, really well. Yeah, so I love how that's looking on my skin. It's like, you know, it's really full coverage. Like I had a few spots by here, but it's really covered it really nicely. I like it, oh, I really like this, really like it not a matte finish like I'm getting more of like a satin finish which I quite like I don't like when my foundation is like full on matte because then I feel like they dry a lot quicker and then it's hard to harder to blend as well so really 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 like this another new product I'm going to be using today is the Bobbi Brown um creamy corrector in the shade um light to medium bisque um this one's great for cancelling out any kind of like purple undertones underneath the eye Okay, so I'm just going to take a small little concealer brush. I'm just going to pop that underneath the eye. So we've got that underneath and they do like a range of different sizes, they're like colours. They do a range of different colours in that, that cream corrector. So it just helps to really like get rid of any kind of like darkness that you might have underneath the eyes. So then I'm going to take the new concealer from Becca. I've not tried this one before, so um, it's called the Ultimate Coverage Concealer, and this is what it looks like. So I've got the shade Cream in this one, so this is going to look like, but don't worry. I don't know how much I need of this concealer. It feels very thick. It feels like it's going to give me a lot of coverage. Okay. Let's hope that that's enough. I'm not sure, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender. coverage yeah look at that obviously when i've got like my contour on it's gonna look a lot like better too i'm just gonna use the butt of my e blender too it's got some foundation on it just to kind of like marry it in with the foundation so i'm just gonna blend that in I really like that concealer, it's really full coverage, which I like. So next I'm going to take the the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in shade Beautiful Bronze and this is what I'm going to use to contour with. I'm 
Men det synes jeg lige nu, vi blander det, så vi blander her. Okay, so now that I've contoured, I'm going to take a cream highlighter. I'm going to pick the Becca. This is the Becca Moonstone highlighter. In I got this in like a little sample, and it came with like a little tester thing. Not tester. I got this in a gift set, so it came with the backlight primer, the glow, and then also a really cute lip gloss. So I'm going to take some of this, and this is just going to go on to. And this is just gonna give my skin that extra little bit of glow. So when you catch the light, you'll have that really beautiful glow. So that's that one. But do you know what I really like this concealer? For coverage. So if you like something really, then you're gonna really like that concealer. Definitely, definitely recommend. So for powder, I'm gonna use my trusty Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. And like in my previous video, I'm gonna use a dry beauty blender. This one is really busted up, but I really like doing this technique rather than using a dry uh, a one. So I'm just gonna make sure any creases underneath my eyes are blended out. heavy with the powder today. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit quite a while and then what I'm gonna do for the rest of my face, I'm just gonna take my gross stippy brush and I'm just gonna set the rest of my skin. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my contouring powder, which is going to be my trusty Kat Von D shade and light palette. So I'm just gonna take it on this kind of like dome shaped brush and I'm gonna mix um, these two together. I'm gonna bring that down the side of my nose. So that is contouring done. For highlighter, I'm going to take the um, Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter, and I'm just gonna take that on a Morphe brush here. I'm gonna dip that in. And just kind of press up. Is the highlighter for blush? I'm going to take the Milani um, Berry Amour blush. I love this one. This is such a pretty kind of like rose gold blush, um, and it's going to fit really well with like the scene that we've got, which is really like bronzy and gold and pink. I'm just going to dip that, and then just pop that right up to the apples. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the under eyes again. So I'm going to just take the Anastasia um, modest, rather, modern, rather, modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to sweep a little bit of the um, this kind of, this one here, this shade here. I'm going to sweep that underneath the eyelid. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? And I'm just gonna take that shade that we took here that was on the lid just again in that inner corner. So I'm going pretty heavy with it because I want it to look really blinding in that inner corner. So I'm just gonna take that Vienna red again. 
and then finish off the eyes with a little bit of bottom <laughs> finish off the eyes with a little bit of bottom lash mascara um, and I'm going to take my mascara of course which is the Giga Lash Mascara from MAC okay so what I'm going to do then on the lips is I'm going to keep it really like nude and really glossy that's like the vibe I want the NYX suede lip liner in nude suede shoes Fenty lip gloss in Fenty Glow. Okay, so that is the makeup. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a spritz on these the coconut, not flavor, <laughs> coconut scented fix plus. just kind of sit on my skin um so let me just zoom you on out hi guys and thank you so much for joining me on my second video